Have you gotten the chance to see the Altair 2 by Babylock? Right next to me, I've got this machine and I've got all of the new accessories that come with it. So let's do an overview of what you get with your new Altair 2. So on the Altair 2, one thing that I was very excited about is that you do get your multi-function foot controller. I love this, especially for sewing, because you can program the back kick to do a function and you can also program this foot to do a function. So, of course, if you push it when you're not in mode, the machine gets mad at you. But what I love to do it for is, of course, this part right here is going to be for sewing. Most of us drive that way anyways. I usually do my back kick as a needle up and down function so that I don't have to move my hands from the fabric if I'm trying to do rotating or anything like that. And, of course, this one I like to set as my um, cutter button. So you can completely customize what all of these different functions do. You can also do things like press your foot up and down. It just really makes your sewing streamlined without you having to move your hands from the fabric, which is very helpful. I'll put that down. All right, another thing that they've added is they've added the new N plus foot to this machine. So you can see with the N plus foot, it's got these two little bars here that stabilizes the foot onto your ankle so that while you're sewing some of those big, beautiful maxi stitches or decorative stitches, your foot isn't rattling while it's doing it. It keeps it nice and stable and gives it constant, consistent pressure. So that is an awesome extra foot that they've added. They also have the compact digital dual feed foot, which this is really nice. If you're working with a quilt sandwich or with funky materials, there's a rubber belt right here that keeps constant pressure with the fabric. So it really helps. And the difference between this one and the older version is that it's a little bit smaller. So the other one would be a little bit bulkier and sometimes your fabric would bunch underneath it. On this foot, you don't have that happening at all. So it's a great improvement. I also love the needle plate that they've done. So they actually changed the needle plate on the Altair 2 so that you don't have screws anymore. And they include this nice fancy little screwdriver with your machine. So all I have to do is pop it. And then I can remove the needle plate, put it back on and clip it back into place. So that makes it nice and easy. So you can do your maintenance, you can switch to your straight stitch needle plate and you can even check in, clean out your bobbin case area. So it's really nice. They've added some new stuff to the embroidery as well. So on the embroidery side, we've got this whole section where we've got a couple of new categories. So it includes things such as um, crochet look stitching. So this is all lace that looks like you've hand crocheted it. Um, there's also some new applique designs, which creates some really cute little projects. And there's so much more, including some quilting designs. There's just so many more new things that you can see. So come check it out yourself, because they are just so darling and a lot better to see in person. So they've added new couching designs in the machine as well. And how that works is you've got your couching embroidery foot, which you can just attach right here. And then you've got this piece right here that goes there. And what that does is it makes it so that you can spool a skein of yarn, like up here, put it through your machine, and it actually does yarn couching embroidery. So you don't have to sit there with the presser foot and try and guide it along. There's actually letters and a whole couching section of embroidery designs that you can do. So it's a really fun extra capability they've added to this machine. That's not the only thing they've done on the embroidery side though. Another new thing they've added to this machine is the matrix copy. So I'm gonna go in and pick just a small little design. Yeah, we'll do like that guy. And I can go here, go to my border section and hit matrix copy. And now you'll see it fills the hoop instantly for me. I only chose one color design, but if I chose multiple, it would actually color sort that whole design for me as well. So you can fill your entire hoop with whatever design you want and have it make multiple. So if you're making patches, if you wanna make your own custom fabric, it's a really cool new feature that they've added to this machine. There are so many more things that this machine can do, but we're gonna break it down into a couple more videos. So make sure you take a look for our sewing overview and our embroidery overview on the uh, Baby Luck Altair 2. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Megan with Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum, and we'll see you in those next videos.